what's going on guys welcome back to another video of lace by j5 as you all know we are in 2022 we've got new projects going on in the shop as you can see isaiah's already started over there so i just want to show you guys what we got going on in the shop today uh, we actually have something that's pretty interesting i think at least so we have a vehicle here that was wrapped by another shop i'm not sure how long ago but as you can see there's some pretty extensive damage I believe this vehicle is wrapped in a tank wrap material. Like I said, we did not do the job and the customer actually bought the car like this, so I can't be absolutely sure, but it definitely looks like tank wrap to me. So I know there are a lot of concerns sometimes about some of these different brands, uh, the quality of the materials used and all that good stuff. And so we're gonna show you today us removing this wrap because this car is getting a full removal. Uh, we're gonna show you how much adhesive is left behind, if any, you know, how much damage to the paint there is, if any, things like that. So stay tuned, should be a good informational video. Um, just checking out the quality of this vinyl and what happens when you're removing a wrap that's been damaged or deteriorated like this. So stay tuned. All right, so as you can see, we've got quite a bit of the removal done now. Vinyl's coming off really good, actually. We are having to apply some heat. It's pretty cold today. Um, we do have heaters going in the shop. We're also using a heat gun and IR heater. But as you can see, not really leaving any adhesive behind, um, except for some of the, like, the recessed areas where the vinyl is already failing yet. But for the most part, it's coming off pretty good. So the hood's done, working on the fender, quarter, trunk is pretty much done, got a little bit left on the trunk. And we'll move on to the bumpers. All right, so as you can see, we're making pretty good progress on the Challenger. Just about finished removing the rear bumper now. So we got pretty much both sides done. Uh, I'm not sure if we're removing the roof. I have to ask the customer if he wants to keep the black roof because it's not damaged like the rest of it. Uh, we still have the front bumper to go, obviously. But yeah, even though the uh, wrap was damaged, overall it's removing really cleanly. So if you look, there's not really any adhesive being left behind. Less adhesive than some of the uh, more popular major brands, I would say. Not really any adhesive here. But as you can see, there's these little flakes all over the car. And those are for the, uh, or those are from that clear coat chipping off of the vinyl. So we'll get that all cleaned off and blown off once we're finished. Well, overall, uh, hasn't been too bad of a removal. You know, we're throwing a lot of heat at it and it's coming right off. So stay tuned, we'll show you guys how the car looks once it's finished up. Uh, should be like factory new, right? All right, guys, so as you can see, we've got the Challenger all unwrapped. That's a little different than what we normally do. We used to wrapping them up, but this time we're removing the wrap. Uh, if you look at the car, it's nice and clean. Uh, no adhesive left behind, really. Like I was saying earlier, sometimes people are concerned about some of the cheaper vinyl brands or some of the Chinese manufacturers thinking that the vinyl is really low quality, it's gonna mess up your paint, it's gonna leave a ton of adhesive, and that wasn't the case here. Now, this vinyl did have some issues um, with weathering really badly on the top, especially of the vehicle. Um, but it did not harm the paint at, at all. It removed nice and clean and I mean that's the biggest thing, right? So we just wanted to kind of show that to you all. Um, I know that's a question that some people have when they're trying to decide on a color or decide on a brand, you know, what's right for them, what's right for their vehicle. Um, 
And like I said, in this case, I'm not absolutely sure what vinyl it was. I have a good idea. Um, but since I didn't install it and the customer bought the car like that, I can't verify that. But yeah, all in all, the process was pretty smooth. We heated it up, we pulled it off. We didn't run into any major issues. And I mean, that's what we like to see. So hopefully you guys learned something from that. Until next time, Slace by J5, signing out.